Ever wondered what actually happens during a D&C procedure? D&C stands for dilation and curatage. It's a minor surgical procedure where doctors remove tissue from the inside of the uterus. But why? Because sometimes the uterus holds on to tissue it shouldn't. This can happen after a miscarriage, abortion, or even childbirth. It's also done if someone is having unusually heavy bleeding, or if the doctor needs a sample of the uterine lining to check for things like fibroids, polyps, or even cancer. The process begins with giving the patient anesthesia, either general or local, to ensure there's no pain. Then the cervix is gently dilated using special instruments. Once it's open enough, the doctor uses a small spoon-shaped tool called a curette to carefully scrape or suction the lining of the uterus. The whole procedure usually takes less than 30 minutes, and most people recover quickly. It's a safe and common procedure. But if you ever have concerns, always talk to your doctor. Ever wondered how a mini facelift surgery is performed? A mini facelift is a cosmetic procedure designed to tighten and lift sagging skin, mainly in the lower face and jawline area. The process starts with giving the patient local anesthesia or sedation to ensure comfort during the surgery. Next, the surgeon makes small incisions, usually around the ears or hairline, so they're well hidden. Through these tiny cuts, the surgeon lifts and tightens the underlying facial tissues and muscles. The excess loose skin is gently removed to give the face a smoother, firmer appearance. Once done, the incisions are carefully closed with stitches. Because the cuts are small, recovery is usually quicker compared to a full facelift, with less swelling and bruising. Results can make the face look fresher and more youthful, without the overdone look. And that's how a mini facelift surgery is performed. Simple, subtle, and rejuvenating. Have you ever wondered how doctors correct a sunken chest, also known as pectus excavatum? This correction is done with a specialized procedure called the NUS surgery. Here's a quick look at how it works. The surgeon makes two small incisions 